So let's start. Okay, so okay. first of all, just tell me uh, on which parameter does the viscosity depends upon? So the viscosity depends upon uh, the shear, shear stress, velocity gradient, and also on temperature. Yeah, I just repeat once more. Uh, so on sh shear stress, velocity okay. gradient, and temperature, sir. Okay. Does it depend upon time also? Uh, so this, you are talking about viscosity, right? Yeah. Does viscosity depend upon time also? Uh, yes, I think so. It does. Okay. Okay. Uh, just take a case of let us say the reopactive fluids. Okay. For this type of fluid, on which parameter does it depends? For reopactive, especially. So for uh, reopactive fluids, that it depends on um uh on on temperature, sir, and mm -hmm. on shear stress, sir, velocity gradient, sir. Okay, and what about time? Does it depend or not? Yes, sir, it also depends on time. Okay, how does it vary with the time? Um, So for reopactive fluid, sir, um, hmm. the n is um, it the n is greater than one, sir. So, hmm. so I think so, sir. With with time, I think sir, the vis the viscosity increases, sir. I I think. Okay, so. okay, just leave it. Uh, just tell me what are the different type of viscosity and what are their physical significance. The different type of viscosities. Yeah, and their physical significance. Um, sir, uh, um, hmm. so you mean, sir, like uh, dilatant fluid and pseudoplastic fluid, sir? Uh, what type of viscosity have you heard? Have you heard about dynamic viscosity? Yes, sir, dynamic viscosity, kinematic viscosity. Yeah, what is the physical significance of kinematic viscosity? What does it tell you? Sir, it, sir, it tells the uh, uh, rate of, I mean, the ease of deformation, sir, or the resistance that is that a that a fluid ease of deformation has. Sir, the resistance that a fluid fluid mm. I mean has. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, tell me. Uh, have you heard about a unit of pressure as torr? Unit of pressure? Which which unit? Torr. Is that torr? Yeah. Yes, sir. I have heard about it. Can you tell me the value of the atmospheric pressure in terms of torr? Yes, sir. One torr equals to one millimeter of um of mercury, sir. Mm -hmm. So. So. What is so, the value of atmospheric pressure? So so uh. It will be sir thirteen point six into nine eight one zero into uh point zero 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 one meter sir. So we can by multiplying it we can. I can give you the value uh, sir. Yeah, just take Let your me. time and calculate it for me. Okay, sir, I am calculating. Just value value of the atmospheric pressure in terms of torr. Yes, it will be sir one thirty three point four two um Pascal sir. Yeah, I, but I don't want the value of the atmospheric pressure in Pascal, and how it can be equal to uh one one atmospheric pressure is equal to one thirty three Pascal yeah. What is the value of atmospheric pressure? So one atmospheric pressure sir uh, equals to sir um ten to the power five uh, bar sir. 10 to the power 5 bar. Sure. What is the exact value? Is it really index value? What is the exact value of the atmospheric pressure? Exact value? Yeah. So, one atmospheric pressure equals to sir, uh, one bar, sir. 
वन एटमोस्फिक प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो वन थ्री टू फाइव बार इट्स नॉट इक्वल टू वन बार यस ओके यस सर यस ओके नाउ टेल मी व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एटमोस्फिक प्रेशर इन टोर इन टोर सर या सर लाइक आई सेड सर इट वुड बी इन इट इज वन वन टोरी गोज टू वन एम एम ऑफ मर्क्यूरी सर सो फिर यस सो सर इफ 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 यू आर इफ आई हैव टू से विच इन विच यूनिट डू यू वांट मी टू कन्वर्ट सर आई वांट द वैल्यू इन टोर अच्छा ओके टोर सर ओके Sir, in tour, sir, I I don't know, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Let's uh, just leave it. Okay, just tell me. Uh, why do we study fluid kinematics in the fluid mechanics? So What we is the importance? study. Uh, yes, sir. So we study fluid kinematics as it as it the as it is the study of motion of fluid, sir. With knowing the the cause of motion, sir. Okay, but why do we? Have to study the motion of the fluids. What is the necessity? So the necessity is that, sir, um, we 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 would want to know the forces that are acting on the fluid, sir. So you want to know the forces forces that are acting on the fluid. But but we do the study of the forces in the fluid dynamics also, no. So why don't we st why do we study specifically the fluid kinematics as a different part? Okay, so you are talking about fluid kinematics, sir. So in that, sir, we we don't need to know the cause of force, sir. In dynamics, Hmm. we do need to know the cause of force, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, just tell me. Uh, in the fluid mechanics, we normally study about the head, that the pressure head, kinetic head, and velocity head. So, Yes. what do you understand by this term head? What is it represents? Significance of head, sir. Yeah. What Sir. is the meaning of head? Sir. Sir, from head we can calculate the pressure difference, sir. Okay. Anything else? um yes sir so there there are different types of heads that like datum head kinetic head um static head stagnation head piezometric head um okay okay so let me provide my feedback uh first of all just tell me when is your when is your final interview so it is on 22nd jan 22nd of jan okay so i think you have a lot of time till then okay and you have to uh, study the fluid mechanics very well actually you have a uh, you have to revise it thoroughly okay Because you are not able to answer me very simple, simple questions about viscosity, simple pressure units. Okay, so you have to revise it very carefully. I haven't asked you anything regarding the fluid dynamics right uh, right now, and I I haven't asked you anything regarding the fluid static as well as fluid kinematics. Okay, so just revise it, revise it properly, and give me two or more uh, two or more two or three more steps snap related to the subjects. Okay. So when I have asked you just like, like uh, what is the meaning of what is the physical significance of kinematic viscosity, then you have to understand that it represents the momentum diffusion rate. Okay, Okay. and basically the pressure. When I have asked you about regarding the pressure, uh, the unit of pressure. That means the torque is basically a unit of pressure which is equal to one millimeter of mercury. Yes. Okay, and you have to understand that the value of the atmospheric pressure is given as one point zero one three two five bar. One sorry, one point zero one three two five atmosphere. Okay, or I can say uh, one atmosphere, or I can say one zero one point three two five kilopascal, seven sixty milli of millimeter of mercury, ten point three meter of water. Then you have to very clear about these values because this is a very basic thing. Okay, and why do we study the fluid kinematics? 
because in the fluid kinematics we deals with the motion of the fluid such as velocity displacement and acceleration which are very important for the study of the fluid dynamic part only because in the case of fluid dynamics we normally study the second law thermodynamics we normally use the second law thermodynamics in order to study the equation of motions and for that we have to understand what is the acceleration and the acceleration is only calculated in the fluid kinematic part only that's why we study the fluid kinematics okay to get the motion properties of the motion of the fluids okay so okay fluid kinematics we in fluid kinematics we study with the second law of thermodynamics no no actually in the fluid kinematics you just find out the velocity acceleration and displacement of a particle okay and that the acceleration which you have calculated is used in the newton second law of motion in the fluid dynamics because if you recall in the fluid dynamics whenever you do the study of the forces like pressure forces gravity forces uh, uh, viscous forces any type of forces you always equate it uh, equate to the inertial forces and the inertial forces is given by the product of mass into acceleration okay yes so basically in order to calculate the inertial forces or i can say in order to study the newton second law of motion you have to require the value of acceleration which you study in the fluid kinematics only Understood. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. So just uh, revise it carefully. Okay, and after that, I will take your more snap. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. okay. okay sir.